Uh, similarly, if you look at, uh, you know, 2017, uh, around 1246 students had written mens, of, uh, you know, uh, with PSI optional. <laughs> Welcome to the PSIR Talk Show. Hi everyone, I am Yukti Gupta, Masters in Political Science and Public Administration. And currently I am working with Flutus IES as a career psychologist. So today I am here with Dr. Bijendra Jha Sir, Faculty of PSIR at Flutus IES. And also he has 8 years of teaching experience plus ex-faculty of Delhi University. Sir is here with us to share an enlightenment upon the frequently asked question by the UPSC aspirant regarding the PSIR optional subject. Hello sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, Yukti. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir, my first question is candidate often ask about the PSIR optional and correlation with GS paper. Uh, well, you know, I should say thanks to you for arranging such a nice talk yeah, and asking basic questions that students often confront, right? And the, your first question is, you know, the uh, scoring, you know, what is the possibility of a scoring uh, in this optional? You know, if one take PSI as optional, what are the possibility? How much number they can gain? Let me first begin with uh, some record, right? Uh, if you look at 2020, 1863 students have written, you know, optional uh, mens uh, with the PSIR optional. And out of uh, 1863, 154 students finally get selected. Right? Uh, similarly, if you look at, uh, you know, 2017, uh, around 1246 students had written mens, of, uh, you know, uh, with PSIR optional. And 117 get selected. So, if you look at the scoring, you know, possibility, it is a high. If you look at only one, uh, you know, subject which, which has a higher possibility of scoring, which is a physics, right? Uh, you know, otherwise, if you look at, if you compare with the literature, if you compare with the other subjects, right, public ad or sociology, PSIR has a, you know, high scoring, uh, you know, uh, possibility. But, you know, the first students should, you know, study well, right? Because you have also asked the second question, how does it correlate with the GS paper? And the student should not opt any optional paper, right? If it has, a, you know, overlaps with the GS paper, right? But yes, you know that GS paper, uh, PSI as optional, it covers 60% of the GS paper, right? If you look at the paper, GS paper 1, where it actually covers the modern Indian, uh, you know, modern Indian, you know, uh, history, if you look at P P uh, GS paper 2, where, uh, you know, it covers constitution, polity, Indian government, you know, uh, then governance. So, P GS paper 2, you know, entirely covers by the PSI optional paper. If you look at GS paper 3, if you where you can see the economic planning, development, you know, environment, right, which covers by PSI uh, paper. And if you look at the, you know, uh, GS paper 4, which is ethics, right? And if you read ethics paper, you know, uh, Socrates is the, you know, father of ethics. When we start PSI optional, we introduce students with uh, Socrates. Okay, how he was a morally right, how, how he was a righteous person, right? And he was very concerned about the right conduct, right? So PSI helps a lot in all GS paper. Not, uh, this is a, you know, last but not the least. If you look at the interview, G, you know, PSI as an optional paper, it transforms the students and, uh, you know, the, the basic fundamentals and their personality as well. It introduces students with, uh, you know, so many, you know, current affairs, uh, you know, what is happening, not in India, but also around the globe, right? So, it, PSI as an optional transforms students, right? So, they can you know, able better to articulate their their answers in the men in the interview, right? So they it PSI as optional. It also helps students in you know interview, right? So basically, yeah, if you look at the scoring, it has a high possibility. If you talk about the correlation to GS, 
it you know 60% gs paper covers by psir as optional paper yeah okay sir thank you so my second question is what kind of resources are more than enough to like preparation for psir optional yeah. uh, this is one of the you know uh, difficult question that you have raised right and you know most of the students 99.99% of the students are often confront this question that what book which book should i read right if you look at the books books has not been written according to the upsc syllabus right and books has been written uh, as per the university pattern right for delhi university or if there are good books that good books are basically scholarly best right so you know first students should begin with the syllabus right and the students should look syllabus thoroughly and you know the students should touch upon many good books there are right but one book would be not sufficient there are multiple book right for example if i say political theory right so in political theory there is a one book by rajiv bhargav and sukacharya right uh, published by pearson it is a good book right but if you look at the language of this book it is a thick right and therefore in order to understand the basic concepts like power or liberty or rights or democracy you know one needs you know their mentor their guide so that the guide can solve the issue and then the student later on focus on it now if you look at the western political thought now there is a you know not a single book right you can one can go through you know the op gawa or brian nelson or you know bhattacharya and mukherjee book western political thought even if you look at not all the topics from uh, all the topics of the book is important for uh, students right only selected books selected pages sometimes selected paragraphs are needed to read in order to you know understand the or cover the upsc syllabus so first one should begin with the syllabus look the topic and that topic you know for each topic there are particular many book right if someone wants to consult you know we have given writ, you know at plato science we have prepared a book of the psir basically it is a notes for upsc to help them to get success success very easily and you know very soon right in very short span of time they can cover it right for example if i come to the you know um, political ideology that is a no good book right you one can consult few topics from henry hewitt right uh, ideology he wrote and he has written a good book right so only few chapters from can be written from the henry hewitt book uh, as for as come to the you know uh, freedom and struggle there is no single book you know one can go through bipin chandra or you know shikhar bandopadhyay but only yes selected topic now if you go to the government right uh, you know for example the you know the concept of parliament or the president one should go through the rethinking public institution in uh, public institution in india by pradap banu mehta devesh kapoor and milan bashna right only few chapters not the all book right so students has to struggle a lot right in order to, to get you know you know to write materials at one 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 you know one at one step stop right so we what we have done actually we have made up notes right and we have selected you know from the many books right according to the upsc syllabus right that covers the syllabus so if one can touch if you can one can read first time th those books that would be good otherwise one can consult you know the as i told you that rethinking public institution in india for president or the supreme court you know one can go through you know andrew hewitt for political ideology like liberalism like you know feminism or socialism one can read you know, andrew hewitt political theory few concept like equality or democracy right rajiv bhargava for the concepts like state and secularism right so there are not a single book that's a difficult question that you have posed and then you you should see the answers right the answer is not a straight it is a little complex yeah but yes we have done you know prepared our notes that would help students in order to prepare uh, you know psir optional yeah sir so third question is ki there are many complex topics in psir like how to approach them 
Yes, uh, it applies to all optional paper. The every optional paper has some some good good uh, you know a very easy, very dynamic, very very interesting, right? But few parts are you know uh, not attractive. Little uh, little bit you have to mug it up or you know just try to you know understand. Uh, you know, and you have you'll face one face difficulties in those areas, and it applies to all optional papers, right? It is applicable to PSI as well, right? Few parts of you know, like political theory, you know, students face difficulties, but if you look at the international relations, right, or the Indian government and politics, right, or the economy, right, the economic uh, plan and development, these all are very interesting and very dynamic, right? And if you see, you know, of many thinkers like uh, Socrates or Plato or Aristotle or even Karl Marx, right? Karl Marx, you know, uh, or J.S. Mill introduces you new idea. You know, it gives you many answers to the many perennial questions which still we ask, right? For example, why do we obey the government, right? Or what are the our freedom and what are for limitation to the freedom? that are answered by those thinkers, right? So yes, uh, you know, there are few parts which is uh, not difficult at all, of course. It is comparatively, yeah, it is comparatively comparatively difficult, but other parts are very good, you know, very interesting. Look at the entire, GSP, uh, you know, the paper two or the paper one uh, part section B, right? Or paper one section uh, A, right? Many parts are very enlightened, very good, very interesting, and it helps students in transforming their personality and self-development, right? So that applies to every, uh, you know, optional, including PSIR. So my fourth question is, ki like, how can student makes an uh, make answer writing more effective? You know, answer writing is a uh, uh, you need a proper training, right? Uh, first, one should understand uh, you sh this is a, not a university exam first. So what happens in university examination, the students write a long, long answers. Here we, you know, train st students to write only in a limited word, 150 words, 200 words, 250 words. Don't go beyond that. Right. So first thing, one should concentrate that you have to write very precise and very clear in your own language. Right? So, this is the first criteria. Second criteria, right, every discipline, including, you know, political science is a very well established discipline where there are many thinkers, there are many scholars who have already, you know, spoken something. Right? For example, if you look or talk about the parliament, right, or within parliament, if you talk about the Rajya Sabha, there are many scholars who have, you know, spoken about Raj Sabha, its character, its nature, its relevance, right? So first, you know, students should write the basics according to the question and then go to the and cite the scholars, right? Here, two scholars or three scholars would be suffice to substantiate your answer. And that actually attracts more, you know, more marks in UPC. Otherwise, if you look at, you know, the if you write answer general answer and if you don't cite scholars who are already spoken right then you will get a uh, average number if you cite good you know, if you cite something current for example role of governor is a very controversial topic and the supreme court has given recent judgment right even today you, newspaper has talked about that the governor cannot withhold the bill passed by the you know, state legislature. Now, recently, so, uh, you know, Alok Kumar Prasanna has written something about it, right? Ki how the office of governor can be made more relevant and more contemporary, right? And, you know, which is relevant to the parliamentary democracy. So, in such cases, you know, you have to read newspaper also, right? You cannot ignore newspaper, right? Especially the Hindu or the Indian Express. Indian Express. If you can, one can go, the, you know, like a frontline or economic and political weekly, that would be very important, right? For example, if you are uh, you know, interested in you know, the you know, international relation, one should also mm, you know, go through the Sunset TV and few of the programs of the Sunset TV are very, very important, right? So one should gather knowledge, but you know, 
they should express it it very precise very effective and one side scholars right which has already said we all are the students of political science right we are nothing we are nothing the students are nothing right there are already established you know view in political science and that should be cited in the answer paper right if you look at evaluator are looking for the you know scholar citation right so if a student cites in well writes well in very precise in their own language right according to the question right then it would be very effective in getting marks okay sir so my fifth question is ki what is the importance of ncert in psir optional oh uh, well uh, yeah if one you know start uh, psir as optional for upsc preparation one should really go through you know ncert box like 9th 10th right again 11th 12th right this uh, this actually uh, uh, books will give basics idea about you know uh, the political you know institutions political activity political institutions means you know uh, judiciary or the parliament or the election commission right political process means election right a political you know rally or for example social movement or you know the code mode you know model code of conduct that is process so if the students go through the ncert 9th 10th 11th 12th students get to know about many institutions many processes in politics right and also certain in you know international events like like war and or the treaties and conferences at international uh, you know level right a few international organization like united nations or you know world bank and who right so one should begin with uh, ncert 9th 10th 11th 12th at least and then they should be ready for you know to start preparation okay sir so my sixth question is is it important to have a political background to opt a psir optional ah uh, it's not that it's not like that one should have political science uh, background for initiating you know political science and international relation optional paper like the the most example is the you know the toppers of the 2022 is takishore she had uh, done economics honors right from university of delhi right and she had opted uh, psi as optional and she topped right so there is a no necessary to have uh, you know uh, background yeah one thing is necessary very necessary very needed for a students that A student must have interest in you know political political events political things like on interest in judiciary interest in uh, parliament interest in united nations you know in an interest in war or you know the diplomacy between the among the states right for example now hamas and uh, you know uh, israel is fighting then one student should know why where it has started right and what it journey it has taken place right so one should have interest right in deeper right to know the things right and that should study while they should prepare right mere having interest is not enough again interest is good right if you are from btech or if you are from you know economics honors doesn't matter if you are from physics doesn't matter if you have medical science uh you know background it doesn't matter it does matter do you have interest right in political activity political institutions political concepts right then second is do you will to do it right that willing is very important right mere interest is not enough right it is necessary but not enough right willing to do it and you know doing it is very very important and if one you know one is ready to do it willingly right and i'm telling you that he surely or definitely will score 300 plus marks in psir optional okay sir so my last question not the least but what is the changing trend of psir paper a uh, changing trend you know if you look at you know earlier what happens the question used to uh, come from 
uh, many sections of the syllabus, right? Now, in the last 10 years, if you look at, you know, what happens, UPC is repeating questions from the same sections, right? So, for example, if you look at the United Nations or the questions is, you know, questions has been asked repeatedly from that sections. United Nations, its relevance, India, United Nations, right? If the peacekeeping force in the United Nations, right? Uh, the India's uh, reform, you know, India's call for reform of United Nations Security Council. So, question has been asked repeatedly from the set that sections, right? Now, if you look at the another sections, for example, if I take about the, you know, uh, local government, right? Panchayati Raj. Now, if you look at the questions often asked from the, these sections, right? And every year, sometimes, you know, two questions from the same sections, right? So, if you look at the few sections, now when we start, you know, uh, training our students, we categorize our syllabus, syllabus in several parts. One is important. Nothing is not important, right? One is important. Again, second part is very important. Third part is very, very important that you have to just, you know, you enter the examination hall and then you see this question and then you start writing. Right? You just see the question, understand it, write it, write it. Because you know the question will appear from that section only. Right? So now it has become easy and easier, right? Only by the analysis of the question bank and the syllabus. Right? So that is the new pattern that UPSC has taken up and it has become easy. You know, if you look at the nature of a question is very easy. One line there are questions, explain, examine, critically examine sometimes, right? Discuss or comment. These are the few words which is written before the question, right? So, you know, uh, it's very easy to attempt it and the pattern is so, it's, it has become easier for students. Let me tell you, right? Thank you, sir, for coming to the show. And I have cleared all the doubts asked by the UPSC aspirant. So, thank you so much for the coming and all the best to all the UPSC aspirant. Thank you so much, sir. Most welcome, Yukti, for, you know, holding such a good talk show. Uh, you have asked a very important question, often asked by students. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir. Mm -hmm.